Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to film a quick intro to share with you guys what this video is about and what we're doing for it. Um, I am sitting in my bed as per usual feeding this baby who eats every 30 minutes of his life. Um, looking crazy because what is makeup anymore? I literally, I cannot wait for my husband to get home so I can like put myself together again because I feel like every video since I've had the baby, I have like no makeup on and I just look insane where I'd like to be a little more put together again. So hopefully I'll start looking more presentable soon, I hope. Um, but today I'm just doing a postpartum what I eat in a day video. So it is a fairly healthy style like of a what I eat in a day. It's kind of uh, just for being a postpartum mom and also a breastfeeding mom. So you definitely eat a lot and I'm trying to focus on, you know, having healthy snacks and healthy meals as much as I can. But yeah, this is just a random day with a newborn sharing all of the stuff that I ate. It is really hard to cook right now since my husband isn't here. So everything's pretty basic. But if you guys enjoy these, let me know because I'd love to actually do some like fun recipes and stuff for both postpartum and breastfeeding and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's about it for that. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Hi you guys, so I'm gonna make breakfast quickly um, and then hopefully maybe get ready for the day, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I'm just making a nice filling breakfast because I had some coffee this morning and water and just didn't eat for a really long time. So now I'm super hungry, but it's actually more like lunchtime than breakfast time. So I'm making a pretty big breakfast, but it is so good. I've been having it almost every day lately. Um, and it just keeps me full really well because with breastfeeding, I feel like I get hungry a lot more often. And this breakfast just kind of keeps me like a lot more satiated a lot longer into the day so I can just like not really worry about eating again until dinner which is kind of my goal because I just don't have the time to cook right now since I am by myself um but yeah so I'm gonna go make breakfast I'll show you guys what I'm making and yeah all right so I made my coffee first as per usual and these are the items that I use to make my coffee I always pump in the sugar-free vanilla syrup and then do the coffee the creamer and some caramel on top you guys have seen this like a million times though and I also filled up my hydro flask because I'm trying to get better about water again but moving on to breakfast I have that uncured turkey bacon which I really do like so I got two pieces of it I also got some American cheese one slice is for me and one is for my dogs um, and an egg I'm gonna make an omelet and then that avocado and tomato are from some or for some avocado toast which is another favorite like I said I kind of have a big breakfast right now um, and it's nice and super super filling so I cut up the tomato and I mash up the avocado I put on salt and pepper and chili powder and garlic powder and then I will put the everything but the bagel seasoning on last for that but then I also crack my egg and I add in the turkey bacon I was cooking and the cheese and I make a nice omelet with that. Maybe I wouldn't care if I could suffocate my feelings for you. And I could just care. Cut up half of a navel orange. I love having those with my breakfast. So I have my omelet there, and I also have the avocado toast with the everything but the bagel seasoning, and it is on a sour bread toast, which I really enjoy. Okay, so I look so bad right now. I have such a huge zit. Um, I didn't get ready today. I literally just like couldn't get it in myself to like get ready ready, you know. I had a lot of stuff I was kind of trying to do around the house today along with a baby that just wants to be held constantly and was crying. I think he's already woken up. Um, I tried to like sneak out of bed quick while he was sleeping and I think he's already awake so I'm gonna go get him. But I just wanted to share that I'm gonna make my dinner now quickly. Um, I'm actually making a HelloFresh meal but just kind of like really simple in my own way. Um, they are simple anyways to start with but I'm kind of like doing it even more basic but it's just like a tropical chicken taco style meal and I thought it'd be really good to try just because uh, it's really quick and easy and cooking is really hard right now since I don't have my husband here yet so I don't really have any time without the baby to cook but I'm gonna get cooking my dinner quickly and I will see you guys in a little bit and this little guy here is gonna help me cook luckily 
all of my stuff is pre-chopped already because I don't know how I would be doing it otherwise because he makes it impossible. But he's going to help me click while I cook. Luckily, it's all basically ready and all I have to do is put it in a pan so it's not going to be as impossible. But usually it's like literally impossible to get anything done with this guy. And his hair looks crazy and that's because since he cannot be put down and I had stuff to do today, I spilled a whole thing of breast milk on his head earlier. So that's why I look a little crazy. So I'm actually making this meal from HelloFresh tonight. I'm just doing it minus the uh, wherever the onion is right there because I actually cut the onion and froze it. But the way that it defrosted, I just don't want to use it. Um, but I do have everything else. So I'm going to be frying up this bell pepper. This sour cream and hot sauce is for the crema, crema, whatever it is. Um, there's a little kind of salsa, which is the kiwi, pineapple, cilantro, and lime zest. We have our tortillas that will heat up. And then here are the chicken slices, which get seasoned with the Southwest Spice Blend and the blackening spice. So I'm gonna cook up the chicken first, then I will cook up the bell peppers, and then we will make these toppings right here, and nice and simple and easy. All right, so I just put my chicken strips into the pan so they can fry up, and I put all the seasoning over them, and that is literally all you gotta do. It's super simple with those, which is pretty awesome, because the whole point is that I have to be able to cook super, super quickly right now because my baby will cry. I also showed you guys right there, I grabbed a body armor drink. I've really been liking those a lot lady, lately, and I heard they're good for breastfeeding, so I did grab one of those to drink while I was cooking dinner. That is my bell pepper right there that I'm gonna also kind of just char up. And then I added the extra seasoning onto them, and that was all I really did. That is the crema, which is sour cream and hot sauce, and then that is the kiwi pineapple cilantro salsa. So here is everything all ready. We have some lime wedges that I will squeeze over top of the tacos at the end. We have our we have our chicken, which is seasoned really good. I actually really like the seasoning for it. And that's my bell pepper, which I got nice and kind of blackened. So that's kind of the main part of the taco. And then we will put this pineapple, kiwi, cilantro, lime mixture salsa thing over top of it. And then this sour cream and hot sauce crema. Um, and then I'll squeeze the lime over top and some salt and pepper. And that'll be dinner. Um, these are the tortillas. I'm gonna warm them up on the stove, I think. There's like six. I probably will only have like one or two tacos tonight because honestly, I'm kind of a bigger snacker postpartum. So, um, I don't know. I might just have a small dinner and have a snack later. We'll see. It probably depends how good they are. Okay, so I'm actually going to have an Outshine bar. Um, they're so, so good, and I haven't had the tangerine flavor, I don't think, yet, but that's the one that I'm going to have tonight, so I will show you guys that, and that is going to be my little kind of nighttime snack, but I will show you, I do have snacks that I have kind of in the middle of the night to very early wee hours of the morning when I'm breastfeeding. So I will show you what I choose between for that because I do kind of keep a couple of snacks on my bedside table because those middle of the night times when you're waking up to feed the baby, usually you're thirsty and also hungry. So I do have middle of the night snacks now where I'm, I usually don't let myself do that. I do that now. And then I just want to share with you guys a little belly update on how my postpartum belly is looking right now. But these are the different postpartum snacks I wanted to share with you guys earlier. I usually just do either bananas and peanut butter or I go for one of these items right now, whether it's a Perfect Bar, Power Crunch, Velveeta, or just some pretzels. But those are really just the things I keep on my bedside table for those middle of the night feedings when you are so, so insanely hungry. Uh, these have been my favorites as of late for it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this little what I eat in a day video for a postpartum breastfeeding mother. Let me know if you wanna see other ones or what other kind of like mommy slash baby videos you wanna see on my channel. Be sure to check out my pregnancy playlist so you can catch up on everything because I did document my whole pregnancy. Um, but also subscribe so you don't miss another video and I will see you guys in my next one.